Hello guys, this is George back here with another video and welcome to another news update where today we are going to be talking about Thought Park's brand new ride for 2023. So rumours have been building up for this for a while, however earlier today Thought Park dropped an announcement that Darren Brown's ghost train is no more at the park. So of course it's been a thing for a while now that Darren Brown's ghost train has been getting removed from the Thought Park app. It was then added back for not too long. It was then taken off again. Uh, and now we know the reason why. Darren Brown, or the IP at least, has left the park. We're no longer going to be seeing this as Darren Brown's ghost train. And it's going to be coming back as a new experience. And it's got a new name, new storyline. And the new name for this ride is a very creative name, I have to say. It's going to be called Ghost Train. There we go. What an inventive name for a ghost train. Absolutely incredible. So, in terms of the story for this ride, we're going to talk all about that. Uh, and we're going to talk about everything else that's going to be to do with the ride. It's going to be like a whole new experience with this. Of course, Darren Brown is an IP that was at the park. It originally opened in 2016. It then closed in uh, for a refurb in 2017 where it got changed to Darren Brown's Ghost Train Rise of the Demon and uh, some changes were made to the storyline of it. And it's operated as that ever since. And it's been very unreliable. It was a very unreliable ride. Of course, it used VR on there, so that was rigged with technical issues. It had a lot of downtime at the park. It was never really a fan favourite. There were some people that liked it, some people that hated it. I only rode it once. I rode it in 2017. To be, to be honest, I can't really remember loads about it. However, I do remember quite enjoying the overall experience. However, I found the VR a bit pointless, to be honest. I can't really remember too much about what was actually on the VR. But in my opinion, VR in theme parks is just a bit pointless. So, yeah, we're going to talk all about this new ride. So I've got a definition here from the park themselves of Ghost Train. So it says, say your final farewell, depart the mortal world on a one-way ticket beyond the ve veil of darkness on Thorpe Park Resort's newest dark ride experience, Ghost Train. But watch your tracks, death is always one stop ahead. This next generation of Ghost Train will take you on a harrowing ride into the realms beneath Thorpe Park Resort where the super, to where the supernatural believers call home. Ghost Train is one of the UK's longest ride experiences featuring live actors and multi-sensory effects to create a terrifying attraction like no other. There's nothing virtual about this petrifying experience, so prepare to meet your maker as you come face to face with horrors that dwell within. So there we go, very interesting uh, teaser and that statement there and we can pick up quite a lot from this teaser. So of course, from what it's already said, new storyline. It seems like it's gonna be quite a supernatural kind of theme. So of course with before it was largely about a demon. However, this time it seems like it's gonna be more about ghosts. Of course in the promo video, which I'll put on your screen now, it shows uh, the facade of the building and then there's also this hooded ghost-like character in there as well. So I imagine that that character is going to have a very large part of the story and a very significant part to play in this experience. Of course, we're also seeing with this live actors will be in the attraction. There were live actors in Darren Brown's Ghost Train. I don't think they were always there. When I did it, there were live actors in there. There weren't too many. There was one actor, you wouldn't see them of course, it was just a member of staff when you'd have the VR headset on and they'd go around on the train and touch you and stuff as if the demon is in there with you or something else is in there with you, but of course you wouldn't actually see that happening. And then there was also a live actor in the scene where you come off the first train, because of course you went on the first train and then you came off into this room where there was a live actor in there. Sometimes there would be two, I believe. I think there was only one when I was in there, but I don't think they were always in there. And then you'd get back onto another train, and that's where the demon would be. Of course, on the first train, you'd have the headset on, and there'd be one guy talking about the, talking just about the smoke and a candle and not breathing in the smoke. It was a bit weird. It was a bit of a weird storyline. I didn't really understand it, to be honest. And then you'd go off into that other room and get on another train, which would then have... Uh, the actual demon where the demon breaks into the train and starts running around and going a bit mental to be honest so yeah there we go but this is a completely new storyline with this and of course as it said nothing virtual about the experience so the VR is now gone which is going to be absolutely fantastic 
for this ride because that was the reason why this ride was so unreliable. This was a very expensive ride when Thought Park first built it. It cost 30 million pounds to build, so very, very expensive, and it definitely did not go the way that they expected. There's never been uh, a, a large demand for VR in theme parks. It's never been really loved. It's been tried so many different times on so many different rides around the world. It's never really worked out. And nowadays you don't really see it coming up as much. And it's great to see that they are removing it from Ghost Train or what at the time was Darren Brown's Ghost Train. So there we go. That's about all we know so far of Ghost Train. New for 2023 ride, opening in spring. I assume it'll be ready for the beginning of the season. Normally with Merlin attractions, they're ready for the beginning of the season. Or maybe they'll soft open at the beginning of the season. So yeah, very excited for this brand new attraction or experience. As I like to say, we don't really know what's going to go on inside there yet, but as it said, it is one of the longest ride experiences in the UK. So I assume with this we're going to be getting into the train, maybe have some screens in there while you watch a screen with some actors in there, and then maybe some scare maze sections as well, maybe there'll be a section like a scare maze in there. That's what I'm hoping to see. I'm, not, I'm hoping we're not just going to see screens with this. I am hoping for an overall themed experience with this so hopefully that is what we're going to be getting something along the scale of the curse at Alton Manor which is going to be opening at Alton Towers this year so very excited for this ride I can't wait to see how it goes down and what people think about it and there we go that's about it for this quick news update thank you very much for watching make sure to follow me on Instagram at George Kelly follow me on Twitter at George Kelly and check out my other YouTube channel at George Kelly thank you very much for watching stay safe everyone and I will see you all later bye